Hi and welcome to Makeup Mugwump. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. She's here. We'll see how long she stays, but she's here. So, what a crazy week it has been. So I thought let's get ready and hang out and just, you know, talk about life and how we're all doing. And I have a full face of like really bougie makeup. Only a couple of things are new. The rest of the things I own. Some of these things I have not used in a long time. And some of the things I have never used together. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. This is a uh, six and uh, three quarters day old hair. This is what we're going with. We've tarted it up with a ribbon. And that's how we fancy it up. That's what we're doing. So let's start with a little uh, primer. And... This is one that I need. I think I'm going to try to use this one up next. I don't know how much is in this because I can't see through the bottle. Even when I hold it like to a strong light, I still can't like see. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you can, you know, you know. And I can't actually do that with this one. So I don't really know how much I have. This is the Dior Skin Forever. Um, I bought this when I was rich. <laughs> I wasn't rich. I just bought it like I was. <laughs> Um, this is a, a primer that it's fine. Look, there she goes. Jerk. It's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not like, there's nothing to it. I mean, there's, it's not, this is not worth the price. <laughs> Which may be like a common theme tonight. I don't know. Um, we'll talk about the products as we go. But I bought this and it, you know, it's okay. I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. If you love it, wonderful. If you don't, or if you're not sure, I don't think it's really worth the price. Now, if you find it, you know, 80% off somewhere, go ahead. Be bougie. But there's nothing about this that is spectacular. Truly, like nothing. That Wet n Wild Glass Primer is better. <laughs> like, so, I would go with that. It's probably $4. I am, I'm, I'm continuing to use the Josie Marin Argonne Enlightenment Illuminator. It's a little full packet and we're going to use some more because she's gorge and I'm getting it everywhere in life. You know, like I can't just use a full packet and not spread it all over creation, but we're going to, this gives me the most unicorniest glow ever and I love it. <coughs> Pardon me. So that's what we're using on top. I have, I know I have some liquid illuminators. I got to dig them out. After I'm done with this little full pack, I'm going to, I'm going to go into withdrawal for looking like Tin Man, you know, but look how pretty I am. Yes, ma'am. I've got a, it's coming off because I put it in the dishwasher like a cretin, but that's okay. Look at that. For foundation today, let's use let's use this one. This is a expensive one. This is the Lancome. That's my elbow. <laughs> I pointed at something earlier today, and my elbow cracked. And I was like, my goodness, I am. I'm a prize for my hood. Let me tell you, I know I am. Look at this dirty thing. I am such a prize. I'm getting old, y'all. Stuff be crack a lacking when I point to something. It was like, <laughs> was like, oh my God, what is going on? This is not pretty. It ain't a pretty look, you know? But glad to have another day. Have y'all been vaccinated yet? I have not. Uh, in uh, my area, we are still in tier we're currently in tier three. I think tier four opens next week. And I think, I think Mr. McGuff and I are both are in tier four. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. It won't necessarily change like a whole lot about our lives. You know, like 
and it, it will change a few things. One, it will take away, I hope, and I'm, I'm saying this, not actually knowing it because it hasn't happened yet. I'll keep you up to date. But I'm hoping it takes away some of my anxiety. That's That would be lovely, right? I mean, we've been, we've been doing this for a year and I would like to not be anxious anymore <laughs> about some things. So it's, it would be nice to, to have that calm down. I don't really have a super bougie concealer. Like I don't spend, I have a whole lot of concealers, but not bougie. But I thought I'd try something I haven't tried on this channel before. This is the Bare Minerals Stroke of Light Eye Brightener. And I have, I have it. So let's use it. Um, it's not super brightening. I mean, it's pinky. So it, you know, that helps with some color correction, but you know, it's not like white or anything. Anywho. So I'm hoping that getting the, the vaccine will help eliminate some of my anxiety about things. Um, I mean, it will be, it, don't get me wrong. It'll, Mr. Mugwump is looking forward to eating in restaurants because that's like his thing. Like he loves that. I don't really love eating in restaurants, but he does. And so I'm glad for him that he will be able to eat in restaurants again. Um, I, I'll be honest, it will be nice to get unlimited chips and salsa. It, it would be nice to sit in my favorite Mexican restaurants and uh, bankrupt them from then. I'm just kidding. But it has been, it's been hard to, uh, you know, not get free refills <laughs> on chips and salsa. I'm a chips and salsa fiend. I mean, I am like, I get, I mean, I'm just, I'm serious about it. So... I am, I will be happy to do that. That will be lots of fun, you know, to get like that, ex the, the experience to get somebody else, you know, doing the cooking and all that. We have been, um, you know, supporting our local places and our delivery places. And we've done all that, like as, as a lot of us have, um, but it's just, it's been, you know, it, it will be nice to sit down. It will also be nice to, um, I, I've talked about this before. It'll be nice to go to the movies again. Like, for real, for real, go to the movies. Because I miss that a lot. Um, I don't have a high-end eyeshadow primer that I know of. Maybe I do. I don't know where it is. We're just going to put this on. This don't matter. Eyeshadow primer is eyeshadow primer. Oh, I probably have that Smashbox somewhere. Oh, well, it's too late. Um... So going to the movies like all the time, like I have a, not currently, it's not active right now, but this time last year, I had a, like a subscription, not subscription, membership service at my local movie theater. It's like a mile away from my house and you could go see three movies a week and I think it was like 20 bucks a month and every week you could go see three movies and that's the yes please and so my best friend and I would go to movies and it was so much fun and then the world shut down <laughs> it wasn't fun anymore so I will I am looking forward to that because we both enjoy movies and that was it I that's a marvelous thing for me that may not be for you but it was so much fun for us and we loved it so that's cool and I, I want to, I want to do that again, like so bad. So movies, that's one thing I know I'll love. I will love um, shopping. I know that sounds a little bit, but I mean like actually going to a store and looking at things. I have not done that. And so it will be nice to, to go to a store and to look at things. Um, I'm going to set underneath my eyes with the... Fenty Beauty Lavender Powder. Look at look at me, Fru Fru. Magoo. And we'll set our eyelids with that. And our eyebrows. There's that. This is a it's a beautiful powder. I mean it's essentially the same color as the Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Pass powder in Ivander. That's a mix of ivory and lavender. This is the same color as that. So if you want a cheaper version of a lavender powder, I'd go kimchi chic. It's a beautiful powder. Okay, I'm itching, so I'm using the brush. 
Okay, the other powder, look at this bougie thing. I've got the Pat McGrath Labs Light One Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Setting Powder. Let me tell you, it's a little mesh, right? Like it's got the mesh. And uh, we'll use this to set the rest of our face because we be in bougie tonight. This is a pretty powder too, but it's not, I mean, Cody Airspawn does the same thing. It's, it's not revolutionary. Lots of powders work for me. And I don't really have a favorite, like, setting powder like this. I know. It ain't, it ain't a big deal. It's pretty. It works. Not worth the price. Not worth the price. Okay, I, Bruce, let's see here. I don't know that I have a, I don't really have a bougie. I'm just going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is just real quick to give a little bit more color and a little bit of hold. This is not, this is actually drying out and on its last legs. So it's not like the greatest right now. It's much better, newer, <laughs> but I'm just going to use her up because I paid for her. Okay. And then... Okay, so for bronzer, let's use the Kevin Aqua Neo Bronzer in Dusk Medium. Ooh, she looks like this. She's beautiful. It is shimmery on one end and lighter and matte on the other and darker. And I'm just going to put my brush in both ends. And then we'll make a mess on our face. Yes. So restaurants for Mr. Mugwomp movies and shopping and shopping like with someone like with my sister you know what I mean like shopping with someone that would be great that would be great going to a bookstore with my husband and looking at all the books <laughs> I cannot wait for that I love that Ulta of course I don't have a freestanding like Sephora. I do have an Ulta in my town. So that would be like where I would go for like, you know, my makeup kicks. But like, you know, places like TJ Maxx or, you know, things like that, that would be good too. Like, that would be great. And I, I think just walking around and looking, you know, like at home decor or, you know, like just silly stuff. I don't really need anything. But just looking again, like that would be great. Cause I don't, I don't, I go online to shop to buy what I want and to look at what I want. Like, but I don't like browse brows. Do you know what I mean? This is my blush. This is the Bobbi Brown blush in Peony. She's pretty, isn't she? She's one of these really bright pinks. I don't remember where I got her. I wouldn't have paid full price. Maybe it was at the CCO. I have been to the CCO, uh, to a CCO a couple of times in Orlando and I would go again. That's cute. That's cute. That maybe, I don't know. I have, I have some bougie blushes for no reason. The highlighter we're gonna use today is the Laura Mercier Highlight 01. This bad boy. Ooh, open up. Look at her, yes. She's beauty, yes. She's dusty though, I'll tell you that. Like this is a this is a dusty product in the in the pan, you know? I mean it's like baked, so it like but it, you see it, I'm messy. Mama's messy with this. But she is pretty. Gosh, this is a pretty product. There she is. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's bring we got our blade. Look at that. I get the same face with wet and wild watch. <laughs> I do I mean I believe there are some products that are very nice that are high end you know and luxury of course I do there I mean I have them I own them I love them but a lot of that is about like the experience of you know the packaging or the scent of it or you know something like that I don't really think I don't I don't think that high end you pay more money means it's better I don't, I don't believe that at all, at all, with my sad little peeling turbis tumbler. I don't. 
So let's talk eye shatter. Let's use this. This was a product that I got in my add-ons order from BoxyCharm. And I was one of those lucky folks that none of my Natasha Denona broke. There were so many folks that ordered Natasha from this last add-on and they, I mean, everything came shattered. It was terrible. I was, there's a, there's a Reddit for BoxyCharm and folks were just showing the carnage of their, it was terrible. It's awful. I felt so bad for them because I was like, mine is fine. But I didn't say that because I don't want to get jumped online. But you know what I mean? I'm just kidding. But it was sad because there are some really, really, really pretty, there were some really pretty eyeshadows and it, they were destroyed. I mean, like just, and of course they don't have them anymore. So they refund you the 12 bucks, which is what this cost. And that's it. It's just, I'm just, it's, it's a waste because those folks would have loved that palette and used that palette to slam death. And now, you know, they won't. I just, I feel so, so bad for them. I really do. All right, this is the Viseart Neutral Mattes. I just picked up the cream. So this palette is the Eyeshadow Palette 5. And these are the, like, the full-size pans. And she just had, like, a bunch of, num like, she had them numbered. And some of the color stories make sense, and some of them kind of don't. This one is very odd because we it looks like these two are very similar. Actually, all three of the browns look similar shades, and so do the greens. So who knows? I'm going to just... You, I think I'm going to use a little bit of a, um, a, a lighter brown from the Viseart. I'm going to say lighter, but watch. It'll be dark as I'll get out because Viseart's serious. Yeah, there it is. I'm just going to put a little bit up there because this Viseart's like, oh, you wanted a touch of color? Boom. It like that. Let's see if I can get just a little bit. These are these are some cheap cheap brushes that came in a boxy charm, and they try to pretend like they were very expensive. I have no patience for that mess with Boxy Charm. I'm kind of on my last bit of patience with Boxy Charm. And I got one of my Boxy Charms for March today, yesterday, today, yesterday, whatever, it doesn't matter to you. Uh, and I'll haul, I'm gonna do a haul. I've got a lot of stuff to haul from this week. A lot of things came in this week, stuff I waited like weeks for and it all just came. Um, so, you know, needless to say, Mr. Mugwump is pleased. <laughs> so, but it is, um, I mean, they're, 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 it's fun stuff. It's all piled up over here. So I'll do a, I'll do a haul or two if, if there's too much for one and show you all the stuff that I got. And I'm really excited to use it because, uh, it's, you know, it's fun stuff, but BoxyCharm was, was the first BoxyCharm. My premium has not arrived. So I don't know what's in that, but we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see. Okay. I've just put a little bit of brown in my case my transition up there and I mean I want to use one of the greens because why not but let's use one of these browns one of these one of the browns here and uh we'll put that in the outer corner and crease these are all shimmery um there are no mattes in this palette let's just put a little bit of that brown there on the end Thank you. Which one do you have to buy? No, you can put it by my bed or something. Okay, yet another Turvis tumbler. This one's Harry Potter. <laughs> We're drinking tonight. It's, it's, let me tell you, this is the last dredges of my Mountain Dew Baja Blast Freeze from Taco Bell. Caffeine-free Diet Coke. But can you see? I don't know if you can see. There's a giant ice cube. It's a giant ball. It's a whiskey ball of ice. It's a, it's not made of whiskey. It's just a, it's just regular ice. But we got from from Amazon, we got an ice tray that makes a ball of ice. <laughs> it's for putting in your whiskey. But I don't want it in whiskey. I want it in my turvis tumblers <laughs> so that. None of the ice cubes, once they start melting and they start coming through the little hole that you drink. Listen, I don't, I'm four years old. I can't, I can't help that I don't, I can't be trusted around my own drinks. But anyway, we, we bought those this week and I have been enjoying my giant ball of ice in my drinks. How's your week going? <laughs> 
it's not much. It doesn't take much around here, really, to uh, tickle my pickle. Okay, I just put some more brown. All right, let's look at these two greens and see if any if there's any difference whatsoever. Yes, there is, slightly. <laughs> this one's darker, this one's lighter. They both have a bit of a gold shift. So let's put the darker one out here. Wow, it is much darker, isn't it, kids? Yes, it is. Okay, that was that was a lot. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye because we've we've now done it, haven't we? Okay, we got quite a bit of dark green out there. We're gonna leave it on our. I have got such an itchy nose, y'all. What is going on? Oh, the nose. Oh, that lamb comb is good. Have oh, I've gotten the itchies. All right, let's blend some of this green here. In just into the crease itself, not not any higher, like in just into the socket. Oh my gosh, I am so itchy. Oh my goodness. So lots of lots of haul, lots of new stuff, and uh, I have some bad news. I I can't do palette parade this week. Because I have literally not done makeup this week. My At my job, I had a project that is coming to a close. And uh, I was hustling at work a lot this week. And so I did not wear makeup except for the one video that I did. I think, was that Sunday? No, Monday. That's it. I have not, I think it aired on Tuesday. I have not done makeup. So I've only gotten one palette and now this Natasha did not, that's it, that's all I got. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on palette parade and skip a week. And then what I'll do is just incorporate um, these palettes into next week's palette parade. But I have plenty of videos for y'all because I have hauls out the wazoo. I've got so many new things that we, and I want to try them too. So we get to try a lot of these things together. Um, this is a really pretty green. This, this actually both are really pretty, but this front one is really, really pretty too. It's, it, they are distinctly different on the eyes. I mean, like I'm able to see that now. I can see that there's some difference. I'm gonna put a little bit more dark and do a little bit more blending there. This is pretty. I like the browns. I mean, I like I like the browns in this palette. They're they're also really pretty. It would make a really pretty just brown smoky eye like this. You know, instead of using the greens, you could just use the browns and it could be, I mean, this is very pretty. I think, I think it is. All right, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Got green all over myself, but I look pretty. Okay, that's number five. Number five, Natasha. I like you. I like you a lot. All right, we're gonna put the Vizzy Ott away, darling. All right, let's see here. Do we wanna try for an eyeliner or not? Let's use the Tarte um, Smolder Eyes. This is old as the hills, but it's really, really good. Like, it's a... Uh, one of my favorite, I think this is bronze. Nope, just called brown, it's just brown. But it's pretty. I'm gonna focus it on the outer or outer corner. Just smudge it with my finger. There we go. That's cute. That's cute. All right, I do have a new mascara. I shouldn't be opening a mascara, you say. Hush, you old dirty mouth. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, this is the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. Look at her. That's pretty. Let's uh, curl the old lashes. The lashes. And let's see what she look like. There's an alarm going off in my house. Okay. Who knows what Mr. Mugwump is doing? 
I think he's brewing. I think he's brewing. He could be roasting coffee. He could be anything. We got a little bit of fallout. Hang on, we'll clean it up in a second. So, <sighs> this new mascara came in a box. Oh, I was going to clean up fallout. Hang on. There we go. Let's look at the wand. Ooh, not a very big wand. Kind of a football shape, right? That's like the Smashbox super fan. We had like a deluxe sample of that. It's like a football shape, so thicker in the middle than on the edges. I guess the opposite idea of a hourglass. I mean, I don't look like Rihanna yet, so hold on. I do not go for high-end mascaras, like paying full price for these things. I don't think they do any different. Like, none of them have ever beaten Essence False Lash or the Princess one, whatever it is. That Those are beautiful. Nothing, nothing high-end for me has ever beaten those. Now, I could be wrong. But that's like my standard. That's what I judge it against. This one's pretty. But it's not as impactful as Essence. Like, it's pretty, but it's fine. I ain't nothing to write home about. Of course, I will enjoy starting to mix it with all my other ones that are out here and you know, seeing what it looks like. I mean, that's, that's pretty. It's a pretty eye look, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, let's look at lips for a minute. So I got a lot of bougie lips, like a lot, a lot. And I'm disturbingly attracted to a bougie lip. I don't know why, because if I have too many, then they go bad. And that's terrible. That's a terrible way to be. But I like them. So I have a lot. So one of them, I'm trying to think which one I want to use. I've used my Tom Ford before. I have two Tom Fords. The other one's back there and I don't want to go get it. But I don't think I've used my YSL. I've got several YSLs. This one's my favorite. And I know because I have two of them. This is the... Rouge Volupte Shine in 44. She's kind of gross. But this is her. She's stunningly beautiful. I mean, come on. And 44 is like a pinky nude. And it's like a barely there. But it smells good. It looks good. It's a pretty color. I also have... This one is 90, 91. That's what she looks like. She's really pretty too. Was that even in focus? It's like that color. And then I've got number, is that right? That's not the Volupte Shine. That's just the regular Volupte. Sorry. This is the other one. Oh, that's another 44. I thought I had a third one. She might be in a purse. Anyway, so I keep my 44s close because I like them and I like the sh I like a shine you know like it it's my it's like in Mac my favorite formula is the luster this is the number one in just the Rouge Volupte so it's like just like a regular cream lipstick but it's very similar like they look similar in the tube this is um much more opaque and uh it's like a cream formula so I I like that one just fine but I like the shines the best there they are there I am what bougie spray. Oh, y'all know I'm trying to use up my sprays, but I keep this on the side. It's not that bougie, but I love her. This is the MAC Fix Plus in Balance. 
I smell so good. It smells so good. I'm like savoring it because it's discontinued and gone. And why would they do that? Like these are gorgeous. And they should have sold them in gallon jugs with pumps on them like snow cone flavors. Oh, so pretty. So this is my face. And I think that it looks like any other face that I would do. Like there's nothing super unique. Now don't get me wrong, the Lancome um, foundation is very nice. It lasts all day on me. And I think it is very, it's a very pretty color, um, like matching wise for me. And it's, it's lovely. I, it does great. It doesn't do weird things on my nose, you know. So I, I do like that foundation. I love Natasha Denona eyeshadows. I don't know that they're worth full price. I don't pay full price for many Natasha Denona things. So I, I think, I think that was this worth $12? Yes, it's beautiful. But mm, I don't know. And really there's, I mean, it, a lot of this is the experience of it. I don't, I don't, I, I'm not sold that high end is better. What do you think? Do you have any high end products or luxury products that you know it performs better? It's the best thing. You will never go back. You will never stop trying to find a replacement or a dupe because you're sold on it. It's, it's for you. This nose is going to itch off my face. I cannot believe how itchy I am. I am so happy that we got to hang out today. I'm sorry that it's been such a crazy week. I'm hoping that this calms down a bit, you know? I mean, like, I like to hang out with y'all, so let's hang out some. Hey, if you haven't already, hit subscribe. That way you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I've got some really some fun stuff coming. I got a lot of stuff to haul and stuff to try, and we're going to have a great time. Uh, like this video if you liked it, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know how your week was, and uh, have a great day rest of your day. Thanks so much. Bye.